Hi, my name is Talon Smith. I'm 22 years old. My presentation is pretty short. It's only four slides. Um, all pictures, I could just say thousand words. So. Okay, uh, this is me when I was a baby. Born August 22nd, 1992, Odessa uh, Regional Hospital. I was born in Odessa, Texas, uh, raised there as well. I wanted to introduce y'all to my family because I feel like who you are as a person has to do with where you come from and the people who raise you. And I think that kind of shapes each person as an individual. So yeah, this is my sister, she's 16 now. That's from my freshman year. That's my dad. This is my youngest brother, he's two right now. And that's my mom. Uh, like most people, my mom's my number one. She's always supporting me and having me have my back with any other person. Okay, uh, so pretty much this is what you're gonna see most of the slides. We'll be talking about where I'm from. Um, Odessa, oh, Texas, West Texas. Um, it gets a bad rap. A lot of people know it for being hot, dry, um, a lot of bad things. There's a higher crime rate now that the oil is blowing out there, more people are moving to town, there's more wrecks. It's just got a bad rap for all kinds of like, teen pregnancy, drugs, all kinds of bad things. And in my opinion, there's a lot of athletes out there who don't get the chance to make it out of Odessa and go on to play college football or to, or to be a student athlete and to earn a degree. And it's because of those negatives. Um, right here is that speech from 1951. It's kind of showing. I'm sure y'all seen Friday Night Lights or heard of the book or seen the movie or something. And y'all know oh, this is a big uh, football town. This is in 1951. This is an old stadium we recently uh, built a new one. Here's a poster about uh, the West Texas oil field, just kind of showing y'all how how big a boom oil has in Odessa, Texas, and how you know that's one of the main attractions and reasons that people come to Odessa. And this is a picture of me in high school. Okay, like I said, the claim to fame for Odessa is just football. So for me, that's kind of what I use. My whole life has been just all I really knew was football. All I really cared about was football even when I was a kid. So for me, I had role models and people to look up to to tell me to use that passion for football to make it out of Odessa and you know get my degree and I graduated in December. I got the first degree in my family. So I think a lot of that has to do with football because without it, I would be like a lot of my friends who may have lost focus or got caught up in other things and may have the talent to play still and be earning a degree, but they got caught up in the wrong life and doing the wrong things now. Uh, that's the new stadium we have. Uh, it's not all the way packed right there, but it still seats a lot of people, about 20,000. This is uh, from this year. This is my junior year. We went 9-3 this year, had a pretty historic season for SU, turned the program around. Uh, this is a ball by my roommate. You can see it's well placed. It's uh, a picture after that game. Just, you know, that's a great feeling right there. That's, that's why you play football, is for, for things like that. And not many people get to do that. Uh, so, any questions? With your ability to move out of Odessa and do sports, do you plan on going back and using what you learned to help younger generations like your brother or right. his classmates? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. That's what my paper is pretty much about. <coughs> How when I was coming up, it was get out of Odessa. Do whatever you got to do to get out of Odessa. And what I would like to do is be successful enough and a good enough role model and a man of character to come back home and you know, not just say, I'm done with Odessa, I'm never, never going back, but to maybe help the community out, like people who've helped me out, and maybe be a role model for kids who want to play college football and get a degree. 